Okay, you're uh, back with us. So uh, we apologize for the technical problem, no? But uh, we has we still have with us uh, Mr. David Lim, and we are actually discussing itong national distance learning uh, system. Okay, Sir David, welcome again to JLo. Yes, sorry for the for the technical ano difficulty. Okay. okay lang po yun, sir. Sir, ito yung isang uh, I'm sure people will ask, no? Kasi siyempre when you talk about uh, TV, so paano po yun? Parang on pwede ba siyang on demand or will that will there be a schedule? Let's say for example, ipapalabas lang ito 9 o'clock tapos hanggang 10 o'clock then ile, uh, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Will that work that way or is it possible for me na parang I can choose which subject ang gusto ko pag-aralan today? Uh, it's called broadcast, so that means it's only one way, right? Okay, yes. So, but the beauty, beauty with the direct-to-home broadcast, you can create as many channels as possible. Okay. So, you can okay. create a channel for grade 1, grade 2, mm -hmm. grade 3, grade 4, mm -hmm. grade even up to college if you want to, no? Okay. And what we will do with the knowledge exchange is to really develop a core group that will be our model teachers. Mm -hmm. So everyone across the country, if you're in grade one, you will be watching the same show, no? Okay. And uh, this is what I, I say that it's so democratizing that even the poorest guy in the province will have exactly the same content mm -hmm. as uh, the the rich kids here in Manila. No, mm -hmm. so again, uh, not a single kid will be deprived of the best teachers and the best curriculum. So mm -hmm. it will be aired, uh, let's say, at seven to seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. The teachers on grade one will teach one after the other. Mm -hmm. And after that, they will do reruns. Mm -hmm. We will keep the reruns going because there will be families that are poor that probably have two kids studying, but they only have one TV, right? right? Yes. So after the grade one kid finishes his lesson, that ate will come in and start her lesson and catch the rerun for grade three, no? Mm -hmm. But what's nice also, Jerry, about the rec to home is that everything can be recorded. Mm -hmm. Okay. It can be recorded. So if there are kids that are, are have a difficulty catching up with the lesson, they can review it over and over again. No? Okay, so, yeah. so they can watch it again. Yeah, they can watch it again. Okay. The okay. grade one, the, the grade one lesson for the day will probably be replayed five times. Mm -hmm. Grade okay. two, similar. Mm -hmm. No, because mm -hmm. you have to remember there are families with three kids, four kids. No. Great. Great. Again, you know, uh, we cannot provide everything, but we have provided equal access. No. Mm -hmm. I remember my mom telling me that during their time after the war, mm -hmm. they have to fight, walk five miles just to go to the library. No, there was an accident, but then you have to walk five miles. Mm -hmm. Dito magantay ka lang and watch the re replay. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sir David, gusto ko lang clarify No, so ang sinasabi mo kanina, let's say for example, grade one. So let's say math. No. So, lahat ng grade 1 sa buong Pilipinas will basically watch the same subject. Tama po ba yun? Same classroom. Same. Same classroom. Okay. Yes, so, same, same lesson. Class. Same lesson. Yeah. Okay. Same so, lesson. Uh, so, in other words, basically, yung quality natin, may standard na. Lahat pare-pareho yan. Standard. The standard. Yes, yeah. yes. Pero, pero sir, si, paano yung teacher? Sino yung magtuturo? Since naka-record is... is Yes, go, go ahead, sir. Sino pa yung magtuturo? Ang magtuturo during this particular time are the teachers we have chosen to be the best teacher in grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4. Okay. No? okay. While they are teaching, all the teachers nationwide are also tuned in. Okay. They are now being coached mm. by these 
top teachers in the country, no? Okay. okay. So teachers training platform din yan mm -hmm. because like I mentioned, that is still the weakest link in the Philippine education, mm -hmm. the quality of teachers. Okay. Okay. But but sir, uh, ito naisip ko lang on top of my head. Uh, teachers will now, baka would be concerned, yung displacement to Manila. What will be the role now, the new role of our uh, teachers right now with this kind of system in place? What I'm saying that the initial role outside of just really improving themselves, mm -hmm. right, is their role is to do the proctoring when they are, the kids are out to do the examinations. Okay, okay. Diyan sila magpro-proctor. Minsan may mga tatanungin yung mga estudyante. Okay. But remember, we are preparing them when the old normal comes back. No? Okay, okay. Pagbalik nila, magagaling na sila lahat. Mm -hmm. Lahat sila, they are trained by the best. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there will be they will be equipped in other words no so pag after this they will, this, be, equipped. They will yeah. be equipped yeah. yes so after this new normal pag sina, ang sinasabi niyo pagbalik natin dun sa uh, yung classroom uli uh, they will now parang kumbaga sa ano they will be they will have this new uh, parang information use knowledge new knowledge that they can now all again impart to their students Actually, like I mentioned, this this uh, study we did 25 years ago, okay. baliktad. Dito ngayon, because of the pandemic, we are worried about the kids not being able to go to school, right? Yes. But yes. because of what I mentioned, basically, this will all be provided with the best teachers. No? Yes. yes. But in the old days, ang dinisign namin, was this was supposed to be in a classroom environment. Mm -hmm. That each classroom, meron silang malaking TV. Mm -hmm. The first half of the class will be, will be lessons coming from the, from the Knowledge Exchange Center. Mm -hmm. no? Then the second half of the class no, will be the, the teacher in the province will repeat the same subject, teach it with improvising maybe a little of the local dialect to make the student understand more. No? Okay, yes. Again, uh, Jerry, we're Filipino Chinese, no? Of mm -hmm. Chinese descent. But they sometimes always say that the Chinese are very good in math, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But what they do not know in the past, the Chinese takes the math lessons twice a day. Meron tayong umaga na Chinese math. Yes. Then sa hapon, meron tayong the curriculum math in English. Mm -hmm. So that's my point. If a kid is taught twice of the same subject, definitely the comprehension will be much, much deeper than taking it only once, hindi ba? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, talagang may, may ano, this whole platform should not be abolished. It, it should still be used because mm -hmm. uh, teachers will always need training. Mm -hmm. There are knowledge techniques. There are lessons that has to be brought to them. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of them coming to Manila, flying here, ang laking gastos, no? Uh, everything is done over a broadcast platform. Even they're improving them, no? Mm -hmm. Sir David, alam mo, based on your explanation, I'm getting this impression na you're not actually just uh, providing itong uh, parang infrastructure uh, given the new normal, but you're actually changing the entire educational system, no? Para yes, Tama po ba yung observation ko, yes, Sir David? Yes, yes. You know, mm -hmm. we are we are leapfrogging. No, mm -hmm. we're mm -hmm. leapfrogging the old technology uh, or the old standard using technology to improve our system. And I said that I can see the Philippines student and also teacher being very awesome one day. No. Mm -hmm. Again, maximizing the use of technology. Sir, uh, 
an, uh, ano yung tinitignan yung time frame dito? Uh, how soon can we implement this? And how soon can you see yung talagang parang full-blown na uh, implementation of this particular uh, program? Again, when this all started in March, the pan pandemic, no? Mm. If we started then, by August 24, we probably have 80% of household uh, equipped with broadcast and with the top teachers teaching. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we have to start from scratch, okay. no? Honestly, I'm saying that if we want equal education, the best teachers online doing the live show, six months. Six months, pwede na. Six months, we're top grade. No? Bilisa. They're so into August 24. I don't know why they're so stuck into <laughs> August 24. Yeah. No? Okay. Diba? <laughs> Ikaw, parent ka rin. Ako, parent pa rin. No? Yes. August 24, what's so important? I even questioned that particular change of a calendar year. Before, you remember, our summer was March. Yes. For some reason, now they're trying to adapt our educational system to more the Western system. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. How many ba can study in America after they graduate? Mm -hmm. And besides, sabi ko nga, there, by doing that, we practically killed the local tourism. Mm. In March to June, that's supposed to be the hottest season. The kids cannot study under that heat. Mm. The kids are supposed to be vacationing in Boracay. Now, wala, they're studying. No? <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's another topic. Uh, sir, sir David, I, I, I'm just curious. No, uh, this is a very good. Uh, uh, plan, no? This uh, very good uh, no, idea. Gusto ko lang itanong sa'yo, Sir David, uh, saan mo nakuha tong idea na ito? I mean, is this uh, also being implemented in other parts of the world or are we going to be the first one? No, wal wala yung boss. I can't hear you, Sir. Sir David, hindi kita marinig. Walang audio. Walang audio. I hope you can check your, ano, your connection, your connection. Mm -mm. Uh, I can't, wala pa rin po, sir. Wala pa rin po. Okay. So, magre-reconnect lang po si Sir David. Pero napakaganda po ng kanyang uh, uh, iminumungkahi, no? So, basically, ang mangyayari nga dito is uh, yung, yung best teachers daw nandyan, ano? Uh, tapos naka-record na po yan. Tapos ma-access using television, satellite. Diba? Yeah, box lang may parang receivers tayong gagamitin. Tapos yung mga teachers natin ngayon, basically, ay... Yeah, Sir hear? David? Yes, Can yes, Sir David. Me? Yes, Sir David, yes. Okay. Yes, go ahead, Sir David. Yun nga. Uh, may ibang bansa na po ba na that has the same system or are we going to be the first one to implement this? We were supposed to be the first one, but recently I heard Brazil wrote Sir, nawala po uli yung audio nyo, sir. Oh. Nawala, sir, uli yung audio. No audio, sir. We can't hear you. So, yeah, may technical. <laughs> yung internet connection kasi natin, no? doon tayo nagkakaproblema. But then again, yun nga. So, yung may, may magtuturo, sabi nga niya, the best breeds, no? Tapos tuturuan yung ating mga estudyante, tuturuan ang ating mga teachers. Tapos yung mga teachers natin, you don't have to, uh, you, have, you have nothing to worry about kasi basically your role will be to facilitate. Ayun, Sir David. Ayan. Pero na, yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Brazil recently... Sir David, nawala po uli yung audio nyo. Nawala po uli. Sorry, sorry. Okay, pasensya na po kayo at talagang ganyan sa live, no? Yung uh, technical difficulties, nagkakaroon tayo ng problema. Uh, so, so yung mga teachers nga, gaya ng nasabi ni ni Sir David, eh, kumaga sa ano, eh, magkakaroon parang ng bagong role. Di ba? Magkakaroon siya ng bagong role uh, na kung saan, eh, siya, sila po yung magpuproktor, sila yung magbabantay, ika nga, no? Ng uh, mga isudyante, kunwari sa mga exams, magbabantay sila doon. 
So, may may ano, kung magkasa no there, there's a new role tapos pag pag bumalik na po sa dati yung yung, yung situation ano, eh they will still continue to teach kung ano yung nakagisna natin ngayon but this time they will be more equipped, di ba? Kung magkasa ano mas mahusay na sila ngayon magturo kasi hindi lang dun sa subject no pero kung dun sa pamamaraan ng 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 pagtuturo nila. Okay, nandito na uli si Sir David. Yes, Sir David, can you hear us? Ah, uh, wala pa ring audio, sir. Wala pang audio. Yes, wala pa ring audio. Ah, uh, we can't hear you, sir. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. <laughs> oh, hindi namin marinig sa uh, yung connection yata, no, may problema sa connection. Walang audio, sir. No audio. 'Yon. Nako, nahihirapan ho yata mag-connect ngayon si Sir Dave. Pero 'yun nga, tingnan natin yung overall uh, plan, eh napakaganda naman po talaga. Uh, sana po, ayun. Uh, he's uh, Hello Sir David. Yes. Yeah, Jerry. Yes, yes. I will switch device, ah. Give me two minutes. Two minutes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so pasensya na po talaga tayo pero babalik uh, magta-try daw siya ng ibang uh, uh, device, kokonek siya sa atin. Pero yun nga no. So kung titingnan po natin yung overall plan, napakaganda po kasi nga hindi lang po ito parang panandali ang kumbaga sa ano solusyon, no? Pangmatagalan po ito. Ibig sabihin, talagang babaguhin natin yung yung uh, tawag dito, yung educational system, talagang gagawin natin na dekalidad ika nga with all due respect to to our present educational system no uh, it's it's sabi nga ni Sir David it's time to leapfrog ika nga it's mean kailangan na natin iangat no ang ating uh, education na uh, system yung kalidad ng ating edukasyon yung pagtuturo lahat po yan and ito yung magandang ano kung magasa ano pagkakataon ika nga no na yun nga may pandemic hindi tayo pwedeng magkita-kita eh ayusin na natin hindi ba para mas mas maganda nga no try natin kung pwede na si Sir David Okay, Sir David, are you there? W wala pa ring audio, sir. Walang audio. Sige, go ahead, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so itatry pa rin niya ulit, no? So, imagine nyo yun. Tapos, ang isa pang napansin ko dito sa sinasabi ni Sir David nga, eh yung, yung expenses, yung gastos, yung investment natin, eh hindi ganun kalakihan, ano? Kasi, well, unang-una, karamihan naman siguro sa atin, may television na, no? Kung, mer kung wala man, eh, Siguro mas ano ba mas madali bang bumili ng TV kaysa computer kasi nga sa buong pamilya yan eh, di ba? Tapos kailangan mo na lang receiver. Tapos makukuha mo ngayon, masasagap mo ngayon yung lessons. Hindi ba? Can you imagine grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4, lahat nandoon na, hindi ba? So try natin ha. Yes, Sir David? Yes. Wala pa rin sir, walang walang voice, walang voice. Maybe you can disconnect from this this device tapos connect kayo another device sir. Try nyo. You can try to disconnect with this device tapos connect with another device. Walang audio po. We can't hear you. Okay. Sige po. Okay. Ayan. So magta-try siya po ulit. Pasensya na po kayo no pero napakaganda po kasi ng ating uh, pag-uusap at talagang uh, malaki po yung parang kubaga sa ano. Ayan. Yes. Okay. I'm yeah. okay. I'm... Yes, yes. No. Yeah, meron na, meron na, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Sorry, ah, uh, sorry, viewers. I'm just, uh... Sorry, disconnect niyo yung isang, ano niyo, isang device niyo, sir. Nag-e-echo. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Sige po, sige po. Okay, so hinintay lang natin ano, na mag-disconnect si Sir David dun sa isa niyang device. Okay Yan. na. Yes, Sir David, yes. So you were saying sa Brazil, sabi niyo kanina? I, am, I, I was just saying that in Brazil this year, they're rolling out to 100% of household yung digital setup box. Mm -hmm. And it will also be used for education. Okay, okay. So okay. meron na. So Brazil. Yeah. Okay. Actually in some areas, small pockets in Indonesia, in Thailand meron na. Mm -hmm. Pero wala ganoon kasing laki sa tingin ko, Jerry, you're right. This is a time of pandemic. Instead of looking at band-aid solution, this is the time to look at building a superstructure. 
Yes. No? And this is the time to show the world that the Philippines is not backward, that mm -hmm. we are ahead. Especially, mm -hmm. you know, what is pinakamalakas natin? Mm -hmm. our, our teachers can be the best in the world. Yes, I agree. Kulang lang, ang kulang lang, mentoring, exposure. Mm -hmm. No? Then, maybe, who knows, maybe one day will be these teachers of ours are not only teaching our own students, but teaching students of other work, other countries. Yes, it's very possible, sir. That's very possible. Sabi yes. ko nga eh, sabi ko nga, sometimes jokingly, but inside me, I hope it will happen. Sana sabi ko one day, yan ang, yan ang OFW natin, na sa bahay lang nagtuturo ng education, no? Mm -hmm. Sa buong mundo. Yes, online mentoring, sir. Online mentoring. Yes. So, Sir David, I'm sure you mga listeners natin, mga viewers natin, uh, I, I know you've mentioned this, but uh, I, I just want to ask you again, kung ako po yung isang ordinaryong uh, Pilipino, no, at gusto ko pong ma-avail yan, ano po yung investment lang on my part? Number one, of course, I need the television. Then, what else po? Ano po pa ang kailangan ko? Anyway, once you have your television, mm -hmm. Analog TV is almost 100% penetration. So let's assume my TV na sila. Okay. They have to invest or the government investing for them is a setup box with satellite antenna na lahat pwedeng DIY. Pwede mm. nila ikapit ng sarili for less than 1,500 peso. One time ano lang po yun? One time investment? That's it. One time investment then, depending kung anong grade level ka, i-tune in lang niya yung oras na papanoorin niya yung subject niya. Mm -hmm. Sir, yung, yung, yung pagkuha niya ng, ng content, will that be free? Will that be free? That should be provided by the government, right? Okay. okay. And uh, right now, it's all free. Mm -hmm. Kaya ang point ko nga, ang point ko nga, na ang budget natin sa libro, ay more than 13 billion peso. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say, assuming the government puts up this uh, studio and it will cost them about half a billion, right? And then they charge lang, no? Whoever owns it, uh, they charge themselves 50 pesos per student per year. Mm -hmm. That's already one, one billion peso. If the government is a educational GOCC company, this company can become bigger. It can go public, it can take, improve the technique. Next time, they're not only creating content for, for broadcast, but also online. Pwede na tayo. This is just the beginning stage. Yes, this is yes. just the beginning stage. No? Yes, yes. So, sir... Uh, I know you've already sent your proposal to to Malacanang to the president. Do you, do, you, do you have any updates right now? The updates po ba tayo? Anyway, I just sent them last week, so I don't know. Uh, what's good is that uh, there were some uh, teams from certain senators and then uh, uh, certain, uh, let's say, the committee on uh, on education for Congress have already. Uh, in, con, con, uh, connected to us and would like to do a Zoom session with us. No? Uh, so, okay. uh, akin lang, akin lang, again, this is my role as a Filipino to to share with the, the whole country the knowledge we have built no? yes. in handling broadcast and satellite business. No? Right, right, right. Yes. So it's a matter. So it's a parang waiting game. I hope uh, they will give us. They will give you the the opportunity to roll this out. Tapos, is it possible? Eto na isip ko lang ngayon, sir. Yung pwede bang mix, for example, pwede. I mean, pwede nila implement yung suggestion yun. Tapos yung gusto nila, pwede bang like for example yung internet. Tapos meron tayong national uh, distance learning. Can they work in parallel, sir? Everything pwede. But the question is, is it necessary? 
Uh, yes. Right? Okay. It's necessary. Again, uh, Jerry, we're not a rich country. Mm -hmm. Every centavo counts, you know. There are more people that uh, probably couldn't care about education because they don't even have food to eat, you know. So, the yeah. point ko lang is that uh, we have to learn how to prioritize, you no? Know? We cannot have everything, you no? Know? And, um, and this is a suggestion that our our group is suggesting to our government. Yes, yes. And it's a very, very worthy uh, uh, investment, sabi nyo nga kanina, not only education, but the government will now have their own channel as well for agriculture and for other uh, areas, no? Sa, sa ating bansa. At uh, napakaganda nga po niyan. So sana nga eh, mabigyan po talaga ng pansin yan. At yun nga, sabi nyo, kung pumay, uh, pag pinayagan po tayo, meron kayong go signal, as early as November, you can implement this, and January next year, full blown na yan. Ganun kabilis. Tama full po ba? Blown. Full, full blown, yes. Including the Knowledge Exchange Center. Okay, okay. No. And, uh, yes. and, it takes, it's about, because we have no time to tape our classes. The only way is to go live the sooner. If we want to go live with the Knowledge Exchange, as early as October, kaya na eh. No, because it takes only a, a couple of months to train them, and they will not be perfect. They will not be perfect. This is going to be evolving. This is going to be an evolving process. Each year, we can becomes better and better and better. That's why I said I'm giving this five years, and I think we will be very awesome. Yes. So this plan is actually really long term, no? Long term, talaga. Yeah. And by that time, we will reap all the benefits, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Well, I sir, hope Dave, my, hope my apo can see that they come. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tama po. And uh, sir, David, maraming maraming salamat talaga sa pagkakataon na binigay nyo. You're very, thank you for all your support, uh, support ever since. No, When I was starting, you were already there. And uh, right now, I invited you. You said yes right away. And... Uh, all I can say is, sir, continue dreaming. Uh, the, the country needs somebody like you. So, huwag po kayong uh, parang mawawalan ng pag-asa. Ituloy lang po natin yan. So, mar maraming salamat, sir David, ha? Maraming salamat. Yes, regards to you, regards to your family. Stay safe, sir David, and God bless you. God bless you po. Okay, bye. 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 Thank you, thank you. Okay. So, yan po, no? na, nakita na po natin, uh, napakaganda po talaga ng uh, uh, plano. No? So, hinihintay na lang po natin eh, kung ito po nga ay uh, may isa sa katuparan. But everything is already in place, so hinihintay lang po natin yung approval. No? Sabi nga ni Sir David kanina, eh, magkakaroon, may, magkakaroon daw yata ng parang hearing. And uh, I hope, no? uh, let us pray na ito po ay uh, pangyari uh, at para tayo naman po lahat ng mga Pilipino ang uh, makikinapang po dito. So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pununod for our other JLo episode. All you have to do is like, follow, share, and subscribe our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube channel, Jerry Liao Online. So maraming maraming salamat po. Stay safe everyone. God bless.